and welcome back. My name is Randomize, and this is a brand new thing for my channel. Something I like to call Let's Challenge. And in this case, we're going to be challenging Uncharted Drake's Fortune. So, in a Let's Challenge, the rules are quite simple. What happens is that you take whatever the game gives you sort of as like rewards for doing certain aspects. So in this case, and in all the PS3 games that I'll probably be doing on this, um, we're going to talk about trophies, and we're going to involve trophies that could be achievements in like the Xbox version. But essentially what's going to happen is that every time I get a trophy, I get an extra chance to die. So it's essentially how it works. I get a free life, as it were. And the aim is, is you've got to play the game on the hardest difficulty possible from the start, and what you've got to do is you've just got to survive. You've got to try and finish the game, and you can collect as many of those trophies as possible, but if you die more times than the number of trophies that you currently have, you lose and you fail the challenge. And that's how this game is going to work. It's an interesting little concept. I'm gonna, we're going to see how it works. Uh, I don't quite know how it's going to be. Um, but I thought I would start with this, with Uncharted Drake's Fortune, a series by Naughty Dog for the PlayStation 3. Um, I love this series. Um, I really do. Um, and I been wanting to sort of uh, show this sort of series on uh, this channel for a while. So as you can see, what I've done is I've created a new user and just started this game on a new user. And as you can see, there are four difficulties here, but we cannot access the crushing difficulty from the start of the game, so we will be playing this on hard. It's probably a good thing, because crushing is really, really difficult. So we're going to be starting on hard, and what we're going to do is we're just going to do, as we say, as I said before, we're going to try and get through the game, and we're going to see how many times we can, um, see how many how many trophies we can collect, and try and ensure that we die fewer times than the number of trophies. Now, something I should mention is that unfortunately this is quite an old uh, disc of my game, and for that reason, <clears throat> the loading times are actually quite long here. They're not actually as long as this, nowhere near in the actual game, but. Um, my disc is very old and it's a bit scratched, so there's both um, loading times are a bit long and also there's some issues with the audio coming out of sync with images and stuff like that, which is a bit of a pity. Um, but hopefully that won't detract too much from this game. Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing this. I hope you're looking forward to watching me play this. Um, and well, let's see if we can beat this challenge. It's going to be interesting because because hard mode. I mean, hard mode is nowhere near as tough as crushing. It must be said. But hard mode is still pretty, there's a significant, you know, you can't make too many easy errors or the enemies are just going to come along and they're really going to punish you for it. So we're just going to wait for this um, loading symbol to finally disappear and we can start. And yeah, I, like I said, I'm very much looking forward to this. Here off the coast of Panama, where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. <coughs> Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, I thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. <coughs> For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the Wait a minute, if my show hadn't have funded this exhibition, you wouldn't have- You got your story. 
Mr. Great, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that you. Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh, pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a purpose to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. Uh, well, what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. Okay, so here we go in chapter one with ambushed, and um, find us out here. Oh, I could really use with getting. Essentially, there are a few uh, a few uh, trophies here early on for like killing um, enemies with headshots, so, like set number in a row, for example. If I can, uh, if I can get them really early on, that would be really nice. Uh, just two, so that's three. If I can get five in a row, um, I'm pretty sure that is a trophy, and uh, we could really use that. There we go. That's one. Oh man, come on. Yeah, that's four. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm pretty sure it's get five in a row with headshots. If we can do that, that would be really, really useful. Um, obviously, it then gives me a bit of leeway, such that I, uh, I can die a couple of times before, uh, you know, I think it's, it's important just to sort of build up a sort of, some leeway here. That's five. At least I think it's five. Gangrel seems to be thinking it's fine. Oh, that was a headshot every day of the week. It's another. Shoot. So don't want to be taking too many unnecessary risks though, here's the thing. Good. That's kind of annoying. Um, that's usually a very easy one to get very at the start. Um, and just because, I mean, we can get some early ones um, through like chapter two and stuff, but you know, it's, it's always great just to have that little bit more leeway as uh, we watch Sully come in here in his play. Rescuing the day. So. Rescued. But there we go, that's the end of the first sub chapter. Sully. He must have 
must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I'd rather look at that diary when we land. Oh yeah, another one of the glitches, unfortunately, is the textures popping in. Oh, hold on. Hold on, kid. I'm not as young as I used to be. So there we go. So we've got textures popping in, we've got uh, uh, audio coming out of sync with the visual. Yeah, lo lo there's a few, fair few glitches, unfortunately. But um, we should hopefully be able to get through. It's hopefully not going to be too um, too invasive, let's say. Hang in there, old timer. We're just about there. And so we finally have sort of... I, I love these little sort of conversations you get between Sully and Nate, just sort of like they really sort of flesh out their sort of relationship. So what we want to find is we want to find our first treasure, which is just here. The reason we want to do that is because we should. Are you even listening to me? Hanging on every word. There we go. So, I was waiting for that. So there we go. Our first treasure. Um, so obviously, the treasures give us... Um, a series of treasures gives us uh, lots and lots of the uh, trophies in this game. So collecting all of them is going to be one of my uh, aims, um, certainly. You really think Francis Drake came all the way up here, huh? And we're going to reach another cutscene just here. So there we go. Good start. Well, I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. Oh, goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Relax. Take a look around. So 
So where could it be? Yeah. This is like trying to find a bride in a brothel. I do like how the game never actually explained why the map sort of um, the sort of location they should have got to was wrong. Yeah, yeah. it's older than that. Like two thousand years older. So now we're just going to uh, start doing um, some platforming just around here, sort of get used to the uh, you, you, a nice introduction to the whole. Um, I mean, this whole segment is sort of like uh, the whole of chapter two is sort of a segment on um, showing how. Drake moves. The down there. Uh, I think we've got a little. Ah, yeah. He spots this, and then uh, Sully's going to find out that it's hollow. Because we're going to find a second treasure. Our next trophy comes at five, so. Um, yeah, we want. <coughs> it's going to fall down. We can jump over. And that'll shimmy across. Sort of tutorial level, as it were, for platforming, which is such a big part of the Uncharted series, you know. Um, indeed, I mean, and th this game is the weakest of the three, in my, but then again, you kind of expect that it's sort of from the first of the series. As that drops down and gives us access to the next, the next story section, and we're going to fall through here. It took me ages to realise that you actually turn on the flashlights automatically. I used to sort of go back and forth here, trying to work out, well, where, where do I get the flashlight from, you know, which button this is. But actually, you just get to the bottom and boom. But then, yeah, so now we're just going to head down to the bottom here and we'll get another, uh, another cutscene, another explanation of sort of like Nate and Sully's relationship. And then we'll proceed. We shall proceed. What a warm and homey place, huh? <laughs> well, not quite what you were expecting, huh? Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. No good whiny pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. What the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and, well, just a few bad deals. Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I slept any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. <laughs> uh, I love their relationship. I love the uh, the interplay between them. I think it's uh, a really strong bit of this uh, of this series. So we're going to find a treasure just around here. We've got to move very carefully. You don't want to die there. Be very, very. Old. Uh, wouldn't be a particularly good way to go. Um, falling down here. So we're going to climb up here, um, thanks to that convenient explosive barrel, and then um, we'll start opening these. Here, let me do that. You do have to wonder how all of these ancient civilizations made all these uh, uh, you know, intricate mechanisms and stuff like this. You've got to wonder, imagine if that explosive barrel hadn't been there, the whole game just would have stopped. <laughs> Convenience is uh, something. Big key. But then again, it's a video game, so you sort of just you, you let it happen. You let it continue. <coughs> so we're gonna jam it. Let's go. This ought to hold it. The massive stone door and sort of the rickety wooden thing. Oh no, there was metal in there. Okay. That was a little too close. Get 
So now we're going to get an um, introduction to uh, Nate's diary. Well, Sir Francis's diary and how it sort of uh, gives you lots and lots of the solutions to the puzzles in this game. Journal about this. Yeah, there it is. Looks like this thing is some kind of lamp or brazier. See if you can light it. I wonder if you're meant to read all of that. I wonder what, what it looks like. Bitching about the cigar. Now it comes in handy, huh? What do you have to say down the bottom? One of the great braziers described by our Indian pilot, maybe? Something like that. But anyway, um, so yeah, always handy also to have someone with access to fire. And then, you know... Pretty sure that's not how fire works, but anyway, um, we'll just continue onwards. Now we've got to uh, we've got to do some more platforming. Shimmy all the way along and drop down, and then. Um, be able to help Sally get down via some explosive barrels because you know when in doubt blow things up. Oh, come on. Wow, my aiming is terrible. Anyway, there we go. As we'll uh, give uh, Sally the ladder, and then we'll be able to keep continue moving forwards. So, um, what's next? Um, I think we now have the classic running away from something. Uh, oh no, we have another puzzle. And by puzzle I mean reading a book and the book tells you the answers. As unfortunately a lot of the Uncharted series puzzles tend to be, um, but it's not, you know, it's not the worst thing. What do you make of this? Wait, I recognize these symbols. Yeah, which one is it first? Is it the face? No, it's the cross. The order of these signs has some importance. So you are number two. Means that one over there is number one. So all you gotta do is just obviously press press the switches in order, the correct order. Okie dokie. So, second, the third one is the cross here, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, good, good. I was a bit worried there. I thought the sound was different, so I was worried that I'd got it wrong. And then you'd have to do all that all over again. But as you can see, so, so yeah, so chapter two is sort of just like this introduction to the sort of the puzzle mechanics uh, that you get in this game, stuff like that. And also a lot more of the platforming side, you know, you've sort of had your introduction, brief introduction in chapter one to the shooting, now you get the platforming. But I think the, yeah, I mean, I, I always think the main thing that makes this game are the characters, and um, I really enjoy Drake as a character. Uh, I know some people sort of find him, you know, snarky, yeah, it's like and, there's a ladder coming to the side. you know, stuff like that. Like but I really enjoy just like, you know, his uh, be careful. constant sarcasm and stuff like this. And his relationship with Sully is really nice. Um, I think it, it, it's really well sort of developed and sort of ex expressed through the games. So we're going to be able to shove this across. Trigger this intricate mechanism, as you can see, with uh, a 
Again, no idea how, you know, all civilizations would have managed to do that, but apparently they did. So. And I'm going to drop down here into the water, uh, and what we can do is um, we're going to be able to pick up our fourth treasure, I believe. We should have five by the end of the episode, which is really good. Which means we should be able to get uh, another trophy, which is always good. Can't argue with trophies at the moment. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to scooch around here. Handy uh, white edged ledges just to like really let you know where you can go and stuff like this. And we get up to here. Now, this jump here, I so often. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There we go, good, good, good. It's just sometimes you can just fall back through and it's just really annoying because it's sort of like something you can't really control. Good thing Sally wasn't standing by the door, it must be said. Uh, actually, he's not paying attention whatsoever. He's just sort of cash, just like, meh, what did you just do? Completely <laughs> ignorant of the massive explosion. But anyway, um, we're going to reach here. And we've got to open up uh, this door. Got to wait for Sully to arrive. Oh, so th that was a case of the... Um, the audio being out of sync. He's meant to say nice one when you blow up the door and then he says I've got this one when uh, you're opening the door. You're opening this door. But there we go. Sweet. And now we can do the classic uh, running away from things segment. Yeah. This looks safe. The Indiana Jones theme is sort of very, 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 very strong here. <laughs> Make our way through. It's not, not particularly difficult, not particularly long either, which is good. Ah! We make our way across. Sully's going to be able to come across, and we'll be able to climb up here and reach another uh, really nice little cutscene. And our fifth and sixth treasures we're going to get before the end of this episode. We'll call this episode an end once we start chapter three. I think. I think that makes sense. So here we go. For this check, for this uh, cutscene. <coughs> Bless me. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just very quickly head over here because there is a our fifth, um, our fifth treasure, which is going to give us another medal and hence another trophy. Because all the medals in this game, all the little um, things you see appearing in that little corner, they're all trophies. So um, we'll get uh, we'll keep getting to the trophies for them, which is really good. There we go, second trophy. And now we're going to get our um, huh? They stop here. Our sixth one. Yeah. Spaniards must have made themselves a shortcut to get the treasure out. Now what? So if we climb up here, climb over these, you get your sixth. And I'm pretty sure that's all there is for chapter two. There's another few in chapter three. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to be able to uh, head up here. And I think what we're going to do is we are going to do the...
cutscene that uh, precedes the sort of just about precedes the start of chapter three. But first of all, we're going to get this. It's a brilliant reveal. I always like that. Um, you sort of see that. It's just like, what the hell? So yeah, so we've got a cutscene here, and then chapter three will begin, and we will call this episode an end. It's obviously been successful in the sense that uh, haven't died, and I have. Uh, a few s be damned. deaths rolling over. Must have come up the river during flood season and gotten stuck. Let's check it out, huh? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Something about this feels kind of hinky. Hinky? You act like you've never seen a German U boat in the middle of the jungle before. No, I'm being serious, man. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you stay here? I'll check it out myself. I'll call you if I run into any Nazis. Yeah, right. You do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on to this for me, will you? Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to do this the hard way. So there we have it, the end of the first episode of this new series. I hope you have enjoyed it. We obviously have um, two, um, two extra deaths. Two, well, we actually have two, you know, we have uh, two deaths rolling over to the next chapter, which is really, really good. Um, obviously, the main aim here will obviously be uh, don't die through platforming. Um, don't die any stupid way. If you're going to die, make sure it's in combat. And yeah, hopefully um, this is going to be successful. Hopefully I won't fail too bad at this. But I have no idea because it's, um, you know, I've never really um, tried to, you know, never really gone through this game with the aim of, you know, not dying and all this stuff. Uh, I say, no, no, you, you, you know what I mean, I've never really, you know, properly considered how many times I've been dying and stuff like this. So anyway, hope you have enjoyed this episode, this introduction to this uh, new challenge mode that I'm introducing on my channel. And I hope you'll join me on the next one where uh, things are going to get a lot more complicated. We're going to get a lot more story and then we're going to start chapter four. And chapter four is one of the hardest in the game. And it's right at the start. So, I will see you then.